I first got on, it was for like teenagers to send nude photos of themselves to each other and my, how we've come so far. Um, it's really a news source for a lot of millennials. I check Snapchat first thing in the morning. I read the Daily Mail. That's how I get my number one source of news. That used to be Twitter for me and a lot of people do the same thing. It's a fun social platform. For me, it's a broadcasting opportunity to speak to millions of people. But for other people, it's just a fun way to socially engage with your friends with silly filters, but to also stay current on like what's going on in the world. Yes, now that chick is accusing Cuba of touching her when she was very, very young, and we're gonna talk about it. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, because I'm working on skill in my craft, bringing you guys a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at, and helping you find a life gain in every situation. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Check out the Life Game Financial channel. So last week, I did a story about how Cuba Gooden got accused of fondling a woman's breast that was sitting directly next to his girlfriend. But there was also a blogger and social media girl, Claudia Austri. Some of y'all might know her. She's pretty famous. She's got a big following across all her social media platforms, and she does podcasting. And she just came out and said, that Cuba Gooden Jr. stuck his finger up her butt when she was 16 years old. Damn, what in the world is going on here? And listen to her quote. At the end of the day, like, I don't know if I ever considered myself to be like a victim of sexual assault because I'm not. There are people who are real victims that I would never compare myself to them. But yes, when I was in high school, I was fucking 16 years old. Cuba Gooden Jr. put his finger up my butt and I felt wild. Like, I felt I don't even know what the right word is. And now it's just become like a part of who I am. It's a part of my story. Cuba Gooden Jr.'s legal team came out and denied all this stuff, said it didn't happen. What's the life gain from this? There are a few here. Number one, ladies, if this situation happens to you when you're very young, you've got to tell somebody. I don't think we can deny the story or prove it because there's no evidence. So my life gain on that is you've got to have some evidence to prove most of these situations. That's not to say that it didn't happen or that it did because both sides are saying the opposite of each other. So we won't know what the truth is unless there's some certifiable evidence. But it just sounds rather timely she drops this the minute this other lady talked about he grabbed her breast. And in the video, you saw it, he didn't grab a breast. He did put his hand on her thigh, but it didn't, wasn't involving no breast. So the life game for here is if you're gonna get involved, if this happens to you, you need to go ahead and tell immediately. Nowadays, I think women are understanding that to get in front of these type of situations, you've gotta go ahead and divulge the information fast and up close. It's not back in the day where, probably back during her day, if you rat on some superstar like this, you was gonna be made to look bad. We're in the Me Too era now, whereas you can prove that these things are going on, you can get some help. And fellas, again, don't put yourself in situations where it can be your word against theirs and you're caught in a corner. But I wanna know what are your life gains for this type of situation? Have any of y'all seen this blogger before? I didn't even know about it, but apparently she's a big deal. She makes a lot of money. They hosted her on. You've seen the opening clip all over the place. So leave me comments about what you think. Where are we going to be going? And is Cuba Gooden going to get in any trouble? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Check me out on all my social media links. If you like the gear you see me wearing, check out my Amazon store and shoplifegains.com. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.